And as you can see now, I am joined by Cassie Null. Oh, we are celebrating the tomato today because oh, of the yeah. Granger County Tomato Festival, right? I've been eating them as soon as they come into the grocery stores. I'm like, I will get those. I don't <laughs> care if they cost more. They're local. Yes. Number one. And I swear I may be biased. They are the best tomatoes I've ever eaten. I saw your uh, post the other day where you had you yeah. were slicing it up and you said these are the best. They are fantastic. When you when you eat a Granger County tomato, there's just so much of that like webbing in there. <laughs> <laughs> meat, the meat of the tomato. It's so good. My favorite way to have it is with a slice of mozzarella. Oh, yes. And some olive oil, balsamic vinegar reduction, and a little salt. Oh. Some basil if I have it around. That makes me want it yeah. so bad. What about right you? Now. What's your favorite way? Um, I think any, I, I like it that way too. I'll do a little bruschetta. Oh, so yeah. I like my tomatoes cooked more than raw. I will say that. Oh, so okay. a lot of times I will put it in on a bruschetta and do the melted cheese with it and bake it a little bit, but. Anyway, and so all right, so much to talk about. I was going to say, go, go ahead, and then I'll tell more stories about food. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, it is a very popular piece of summer produce. That's right. It really is. And actually, whether you call it a fruit or a vegetable, the tomato is without a doubt the most versatile. According to the University of Vermont, tomato seeds were brought from Mexico to Spain by early explorers and then spread to Italy by the mid 1500s. They became popular throughout Europe as ornamental plants. Even though history shows that Thomas Jefferson was fond of them, tomatoes didn't become popular in the United States until the early 1900s. So of course we talk about this a lot. Botanically, tomatoes are fruit. They're actually though considered a vegetable by many because the sugar content is well below that of other fruits. So I guess it's okay if you wanna call it a vegetable, but according to the University of North Carolina Extension Office, there are actually more than 10,000 tomato Whoa. varieties. Different types include slicing tomatoes as they're called, Roma or plum tomatoes, as well as cherry or grape tomatoes. To get your tomatoes right, by the way, you probably heard this before, place them in a brown bag, paper bag, out of the sunlight, and you can store already ripe tomatoes at room temperature. Do not put them in the fridge. It really depends on how ripe it is once you get it. Um, if it is a full color soft tomato, you probably have two to three days to eat it. Um, if you have a little bit of green, put it in your windowsill and you have a little bit longer. Along with Granger County Tomatoes, of course, there are farms all over East Tennessee. You can visit the Pick Tennessee Products website for a list of where to get yours. Preferably, I like to get mine delivered to me by somebody for free. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I went up to the, to the farmers earlier this week to talk about how the weather has impacted yes. the crops this year. There were some losses because of the very wet beginning. It was mm -hmm. hard for them to get the plants in the ground. And then they've had the drought recently, so some of them are having trouble getting water to their fields. The good news is they say there is enough. You'll have plenty at the Granger County Tomato Festival. Good, good to hear. Now, as far as the weather is concerned,